and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Boog and Dad Cooks. Or whatever the series is called, we don't actually really remember. And today, we are going to be cooking some delicious trout or possibly salmon. I'm not sure. Either way, we will be baking it, and it will be amazing. We'll also be having a side of chicken rice and <laughs> hamburger helper, my specialty, beef pasta. Mmm, so good. But it's too bad for you, because you will get done. No food for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. And now we pass to go over to the assistant. <laughs> We're Dad. back with another episode of Burger Dad Cooks. Or whatever is in the title. Yeah, I think this is part two or no, no, I think this is episode three. So, yeah, as Soup Nazi was saying, uh, we are going to be doing some baked fish, um, uh, which will be going here, and we're going to be doing some uh, chicken rice. Very good stuff to go with the baked fish. And my ultimate specialty for myself and for Grand, Grand Munster, <laughs> Hamburger Helper Beef Pasta. Also known as Granny. This is good. And it's pretty amazing because you can buy these in the twin packs. Which I highly recommend. Because then you have one for now, and then you have another for later. Yeah. Alright, so let's get started. I think first off we're going to start with... Step one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, the fish doesn't take too long. Um, the rice takes a little bit, though. So I think that's where we're going to start there, since it takes the longest. Um, but before you start all this, we cook, we baked the fish at 350 for like 20, 25 minutes. Now you can see we have ours thawed here. But... Um, if you have fresh, then obviously you don't have to thaw it. But we buy ours in the big, huge uh, pieces and cut it up and freeze it. So it's all thawed out. So it should be ready to go. So we're going to start with the rice aroni chicken rice in this pot here. There you can zoom in. It is a very specific pot. <laughs> right. We're using an 18 inch ninja. And this is uh, with lid. Yeah. This is probably the best pot to cook rice in, right, Dad? I think so. <clears throat> so, Dad's word. <laughs> for this rice, uh, you have to like saute it first, then you boil it. So that's what we're going to start with. So you're going to need a little butter for that and a big giant spoon. Big giant spoon. <laughs> Biggest spoon of all time. So kind of dip in about that much. Should be good. So bring it over here to your pan. Drop it in. Give it some heat. You want to kind of get it melted a little bit. And then we'll put our rice in. So we basically kind of like just fry the rice for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Mom likes it super brown. So it might be more like 15 minutes. Yeah, we'll be here for a while, aren't we? Well, we won't bore them through all of it. We can cut because now Boo knows how to like splice the videos. So yeah, we won't have to bore you with the, with the long boring parts. We just give the instructions. And there are the steps. Yeah. So get your butter. Pretty well melted. So he's getting there. Getting there for a second. While we're doing that, we'll go ahead and get out our our fish since ours is in the sink being dethawed. So I think this is trout. I can't really remember. It could be salmon. Yeah, we can see Dad's a total fish expert. Great right, job. Yeah, I don't really eat it. This is for Granny and. Mom, but anyway, just get it out, place it in the pan like that. And these are kind of thin pieces, so I did like four. Your dad's a vegetarian. Yeah, mom, mom might take some for lunch tomorrow. It's possible. So that's two. And we have number three. They're not vegetarian. They're like anti vegetarian. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't eat a lot of seafood. Dad is anti fish. I do like some shrimp, but that's pretty much the extent of my my seafood eating. All of seafood is going to the garbage. But Mom yeah. loves it all. Yeah. Mom and shrimp, Danny. lobster. Well, no, she doesn't really eat shrimp that much. She likes fish, lobster, especially crab legs. So we're going to put our four in there like that. <clears throat> we'll throw our little baggies away. Don't throw baggins away. Not baggins, they're baggies. Speaking of baggins, he's, he's also having dinner. <laughs> Say hi, baggins. 
He says, I'm busy stuffing my face. <laughs> yeah, he's eating. All right. Stir that butter up a little bit, babe. See if it's all the way melted. And I'm going to go ahead and put my hamburger meat in this pan for the hamburger helper. It's thawed out. We shop at Sam's, so you have to buy there in like massive quantities. So we freeze a lot. So we do have to thaw out pretty often. Always remember, for your safety tip, after handling any raw meat, you always want to wash your hands. Lots of soap and water. Don't forget your thumbs. And also, if you're um, underage, make sure you have an adult supervision when you handle them with heat. Yes, yeah. yeah. We used to so make sure you got mom and dad around to help you out. Or your guardian. It can be dangerous. All right, so the butter over there looks pretty good. So now it's time to add the rice. My dad, my dad, five hours later, just <laughs> opened the box. Yeah, just try to bust into it there. <laughs> now you don't want to pour this in, so make sure you take your little seasoning pack out and throw it over there. And dad, right now, what will happen if you leave it in there? Uh, well, then it'll go in here with the butter and the heat. And possibly catch a fire. <laughs> so then your house is pretty much is explode. Yeah, so make sure you set that aside. Because right now, all we want to do is like brown this rice up. And we don't, it's not time for the seasoning yet. That's later. So you're going to let it sit in here in the butter and kind of just let it get brown. But not like this brown darker brown. So I'm going to let Boog stay in charge of that. We'll give that a few minutes. All right, Boog, you can flick over here to the uh, back to the fish. We'll go ahead and get it ready. So all we've done so far is just stick it in the pan. Next up is uh, the oil. So if you're going to bake fish, especially in these kind of pans, you got to have oil. This is just olive oil, nothing special. Um, so you kind of pour this in and you want just enough to coat the bottom. Now, if you don't have oil, you know, on the bottom of the pan, uh, these ceramic dishes can explode. It's actually happened to me in the <laughs> stove. And that is a nightmare. Oh, no. Talk about a mess. Yeah, it's it took, horrible. It took dad hours to clean it up. Yeah, it was terrible. <clears throat> so then from here, a little bit of seasoning. You can season any way you want. Mom just likes salt and pepper. So that's what we do. A little salt. Not too much. And a little pepper. I guess that gets it flavored up just right. And that's a <clears throat> Yeah, now before we started filming, I preheated the oven to 350. That's what we cooked the fish on. And it'll be somewhere from like 20 to 25 minutes. Just depending on how done you like it. I think most people like fish done. So hopefully. Let's look back over here, big. So the key here when you're browning is you have to keep stirring. You don't want to burn. So so don't forget about this when you're letting it heat up but you want it a little more brown than this. I think mom likes it almost burnt. <laughs> almost burnt? Almost. Very close. Yeah, granny likes it burnt. Definitely. So yeah, just kind of keep it, keep it stirred and it will eventually start browning here. So but, while that's working, we're gonna flick it over now. Cause see, pretty much our fish is ready, but I don't want to be in too soon cause this is going to take about 20, 25 minutes. This is going to take about 20, 25 minutes. And this is going to take 20, 25 minutes. So we're pretty close to how them all even. But I'm going to go ahead and brown this first, then put the fish in, and then hopefully that'll be browned up and we'll get the water in and it'll start cooking. So hamburger meat in the pan. And I think with this, it's, it says you're supposed to use a pound, but really just depends how, you know, how meaty you want it. Mine might be a little over a pound. So I'm going to break this up. Let it start to cook. Some people like to use, you know, ground beef that's got more fat in it, like a 70-30. Some people use, I think Chuck is like 80-20. 
And this is 9010, which is what we use, which is like the leanest you can get. Just has less fat. It's supposed to be a little bit better for you. But you can get whatever you like. There's Last no requirements. Totally help, Dad. Right. Keeps me lean and trim. <laughs> oh, big, we need a little stir there. Get a shot of how brown that's getting. No, you can't really tell on the camera. Oh, okay. Trust us, it is definitely browning up over there. And I think it's definitely getting darker, though, you can tell. Nice. And that's just about ready, I think. Very, very close. All right. So now our next part over here with the rice is going to be a little bit dangerous. Oh, no. Yeah, it's going dangerous. But that's what makes it fun. So look on. And not so fun if you do it wrong. Oh, no. Did I already throw the box away? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I did. Mistake. No. So keep don't your box. Don't like dad and don't throw away. So mouth. after you saute your rice, I think it was called sauteing, we're going to add two and a half cups of water. So because that pan's hot already, it's going to go. So I'll get some serious steam here for a minute. So dad's going to be filling up the cup yeah, of water. Yeah, the measuring cup up here. Two cups. Two cups. There it is. And now our boot back up a little bit. Gonna get a little crazy. You can probably add an explosion sound uh, effect. Yeah, like you don't wanna <laughs> you don't wanna just dump all this in really fast, just go slow because the pan's hot. And there's your two cups in there. And but then, now it's that, but it said two and what a half. On the camera it looks like uh an eggs on the yeah, camera. So we give that a stir. So it says two and a half cups. Yeah. So, we're going to add a little bit more. Everything else is cooky, but the poor fish is over there. It's just <laughs> sitting there. Yeah, we're going to get him in here in just a second. There's the half. He's probably happy that he didn't, he hasn't been cooked yet. Yeah. He's like, oh, we're saved. We're saved for now. If only they knew what was about to happen to them. Yes. <laughs> poor cow was not as lucky. Yeah. He was being cooked as we speak. So yeah, just you know, stir this around, get it ground up. All right, that looks pretty good for a minute. Now let's go over back to the rice again. Remember what we talked about earlier? The seasoning. The special seasoning. That, it's time. If your house hasn't um, exploded yet, uh, you should now be able to prepare the seasoning. Right. <laughs> so after you've added your water, open up the seasoning, dump it in. Sure you get all of it out of there. All right. Yeah, it kind of now, looks like a white blob on the on the camera. Yeah. Now you're ready for a quick stir here. Get all that stirred up in there. All right. That looks pretty good. So now at this point, we're gonna put our spoon to the side. We need the lid. So it goes on. Did you see it like immediately fogs up? Yeah, now we're gonna crank the heat. We wanna get it to boiling. And as soon as it gets to boiling, we're gonna back off the simmer. And then you're gonna simmer it for about 20 minutes. But we gotta get it to boiling first. So don't let me forget about that, big. Okay. All right, I think at this point, it's probably time for the fish to go in. All right, so back up a little bit, boo. We gotta open this oven. You see, we already got it preheated to 350. So it's ready. All right, we're gonna use the bottom. Hello down there. There's no one down there, Dad. Oh. <laughs> and we're just gonna slide them on in. And we'll set our timer, lower timer, 25 minutes. Ta-da! And that goes off, we'll check it. So I think at this point, um, we will, this is still got to cook some more. Oh, look, what do we got, big? Boiling. All right, so boiling, now we have to simmer. So if you'll take him from eight down to like the two, that should be a good simmer. Let's see, so you need to take your little handle thing and you got to move it down to two. Right. And then that's going to stay that way for about 20 minutes. Don't forget to stir about every, you know, seven or eight minutes, something like that. You don't want your rice getting sticky. So our cow over here is browning up. Pretty good. So I think at this point, if there's any sides that you want to have, 
uh, now is probably the time. For me, I like to do some delicious <laughs> Del Monte green beans. Green beans is just getting a meme on the channel by the time we're done with the series. Yeah, you can <laughs> have any, any size you want, really. <laughs> I mean, if, you did, if you don't know why we're laughing, Dan Bridgerton eats green beans with every single meal. <laughs> yes, yes I, I, I love green beans. Uh, what can I say? Um, yeah. They're nutritious, delicious, <laughs> very good for you. I don't know why anybody wouldn't have green beans every night. It's just awesome. Jake has so, a, all right, has see, a we'll get a zoom beans. back over here on the rice. That's so we're still boiling really heavily. So now from two, we're going to go down to the lowest setting because we want to Slow that down just a little bit. Okay. That looks pretty good. So pay much you want to put it on uh, low or elbow. Yeah. I would also like to have some corn, but I don't have any up here at the Oh, I do. All right, so yes. The secret. Next thing I'll be going with is some <laughs> Del Monte again. I guess that's the thing. I don't think the brand matters a lot, but whole kernel corn. <laughs> so we're teaching everyone Dad's secret recipe. Right, Dad. Uh, yes, yes. So uh, the way I cook the corn and green beans is probably not traditional, <laughs> what but do you by that? it works. Uh, well, instead of using a pot and stove, I prefer, <laughs> of course, you have to use plastic pots for this procedure. These little guys. It's all a tire procedure? Yes. And I use this. <laughs> use the microwave. Right. So it's very important. Three minutes. That's it. No more, no less. Three minutes for the corn, three minutes for the green beans. And you can't do it at the same time. One at a time. No, what will happen? Right. What will happen if you do it both at the same time? Uh, then they'll cross-contaminate and it'll be terrible. You don't ever want your beans to taste like corn. That'll be horrible. So we don't do that. Yeah, one, one each. Or your microwave might explode. Or that. Yeah. Be horrible. Yeah. So this is still browning. The rice is still looking oh, yeah. good. Fish is in. Look, we've already had almost almost four minutes on That's the fish time. That's a world record. Yeah. So now, now, we'll do the veggies. Veggies. All right. So we're going to need a can opener. Boo, if you're looking at the top drawer there, we should have one. Um, this one? Yes. Okay. That would be perfect. Uh, so yeah, this is our handy dandy manual <laughs> can opener. Do you know what brand it is? Um, I do not. <laughs> Probably says there, but I can't see it. Let's see. Um, um Oxo. Yeah, but either way, it's, Oxo, it's Oxo cap I've had it a lot of years. This has been a good one. So I won't complain about it. I can't open it. Right. So we'll just kind of get things going here. And Dad has done this probably officially the one million times he's done this. Yeah, I wish I had an official countdown. <laughs> it would go off. All right, so that was it. So just open it up. Beans are in. Very nice. Oh no! <gasps> what happened? Oh no, Dad yeah, lost the lid. It went down there. Okay. Oh, no. Do not lose your lid between the stove and the counter. Oh, no. I'm sure, I'll find out whenever it's time to move the stove out for cleaning. Um, yeah. But uh, what I was saying was uh, be careful with the lids because uh, they're very sharp when you open the can. And uh, you can cut a finger. And also, Dad could have, uh, it could have, it could have easily been to the Yes. Meat. Right. And then you would bleed out all on your meat, your veggies, whatever. It'd be terrible. It'd be terrible. Don't do that. Right. Don't do so, what Dad just did. So that got the beans in the pot. So next up, corn. Do not Time lose the lid this time. A little Carol Furler. Yeah. Let's get it going. Normally, I stop at the very end so it doesn't quite come like all the way up. And then. Even though that's exactly what Dad did last time. Yeah, I just went a little too far, so then you can just kind of raise, but it still stays connected. Just don't touch it. Dump it in your little pot. Or you might not have any fingers after that. Right. Closing back. We might have missing fingers. Yeah. Now we're going to get rid of this. So, we've got our beans. We've got corn. All right, so the beans. The only thing I do with beans, um, my favorite thing to do with them, I think our cow here is just about... Just about done. It sounds wrong every time you say cow. Oh, sorry. Uh, beef. Yeah, the beef. <laughs> beef is done. So now that he's all brown, we're going to go ahead and turn him off. And we'll let him sit there for just a minute. Oh, so back to the beans. 
So very important. We need a little flavoring, but not too much. So uh, pepper, just put a good bit in there. Uh, don't do salt. It already has a ton of salt in it uh, from the factory, so there's no reason to add salt unless you just really like high blood pressure. Um, <laughs> same thing with the corn. It's already got plenty of salt. So what I do with the corn is just take a <laughs> um, little spoon. Dad, you literally still have my baby spoon so since I was a baby. You never know. It's an emergency. <laughs> Why would so, I ever... A little thing of butter, about like that. That's all the corn needs. Just a little butter. It'll be great. Promise. I'm a big piece of butter. <laughs> uh, it might have been excessive, but yeah. Probably do a little less butter. But, you know, really, it's really kind of to taste, you know, whichever, yeah. however much butter you like. So, um, all right. So, yeah, our, our veggies are ready to go in. But they're only going to take three minutes each, so we're not quite ready for that yet. But it is time for a stirring over here. So get your spoon back out for your rice. Let's... I, I don't know why they make these genius inventions <clears throat> with these new <laughs> cookwares, but they insist on putting a, a steel handle <laughs> oh, no. on a hot lid. So if you don't use this, you grab it. <laughs> ah! I guess they just do it because they love burns, but you just want to lift that up and... Yeah, uh, yeah, so Ninja, if you're watching, uh, you should probably improve this a little bit. Oh, a yeah. little rubber thing here would be awesome. Or you might get sued. Or that. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so we just started the rice. Um, he's, he's a little too low, though, so I'm going to go back to two. You want to boil him, but just a little back bit. Back to two. Yeah, just back up to two. Yeah, I know you guys see that or not. So now Hamburger Helper is uh, it's time to move along. With that a little bit. So first thing you want to do, like your hamburger meat's done. Even though we use the low fat stuff, I still drain it. Just because you want to get all the fat out that you can. It'll be a little better for you that way. So put a bowl in there. Save your septic system. Don't drain it down your pipes. Drain it in a bowl and you can throw it in the trash. Or outside. Whatever you prefer. Alright. So there's all the beef. It's going to go in. And our pot's kind of big, so we have to be careful. So don't lose it in the sink. What would happen if you lose it in the sink? Uh, once it touches the sink, there's no going back. It's just got to go to the trash. We don't want that to happen, though. So we're going to get it all in that little bowl. And it's going to drain all that fat right on out of there. We should pour all that in. All right. It's about good enough. Just want to get that grease out. Yeah, it looks good. Yep. So as you can see here, it's draining down into the bowl and not into the sink. So it's not going to go down and destroy the plumbing or the septic system, which is bad. <laughs> yeah, it's obviously. So just give it a couple minutes to let it drain. It's still dripping. And that's a lot of hamburger meat. So what I'm probably going to do is put some in a baggie and put it back in the freezer for next time. But I really won't, I won't eat that much. I don't think any grain will anyway. And I might already have one started. Oh yeah, there's my popsicles. Yes, but I forget to use a lot. I do, so. I this is the first time I've ever been in the big dead to be freezer. Yeah, it probably is. So yeah, I started this one last time. So. So are you going to do it this time? I'm going to add to it. <laughs> <laughs> add to it. So next time I won't even have to get out a fresh one. I can just pull out already cooked stuff. All right, so um, let's get and our. Just so you know, everyone, that thing is has probably has uh, is a rock right now. Oh yeah, it's very frozen. So we're just gonna <laughs> add to him here. <laughs> Be frozen. Because I'm not gonna need that much for tonight. That, I think that's way more than a pound. All right, get in there. Oh no, you lost some. Oh no, it did have some fatalities. No. Well, there's no going back. It's over. Go ahead, P. Right, Dad. Right, he is done. So, like I said, figure out how much meat you want. It's a personal choice. The box calls for a pound. That's usually what I go with. But you really don't need any more than that. I think we're about there, right here. Very nice. 
All right, so that's what I'm gonna have for next time. So see, it's already brown. All I gotta do is pull it out of the freezer and throw it in the pan. Now, so, um, these stay. Oop, there goes Baggins. Baggins is stuck in the face again. So, back in the freezer. All right, this is now it's fun. So that's our grease that we got out. It's going in the trash. Meat's going back in the pan. Disgusting. Yeah, really gross. Put him in there. All right. Now it's time to make the helper. So we've got our ground beef. It is done. So our next up, if you look on the back of the box here, next step. We took the ground beef, and now we're going to stir in hot water, milk, Maybe and special seasonings. Really see it. Yeah, so this one's going to call for two and a third cups of hot water, one cup of milk. All right, so back to our handy measuring cup. Hey, uh, the fan favorite, right, Dad? Yeah, I don't know why it has to be hot water, but that's what it says. So there's our two cups going in. Now we got to do our two and a half. That, no, two and a third. We gotta find the third on here. Yeah, it doesn't know what's the third. One third. There it is. That one gets really fast. Okay. And now it wants one cup milk. All right. So. And now, first time the big Dad TV refrigerator. Yeah, get your milk out. No. Uh, that one says. June 28th. Oh, yeah, it's new. We just got it. Plenty in date. <laughs> sniff test, you know, just in case. You can never be too sure. Does Dad do the sniff test on everything? Uh, mostly, but mostly just milk. You cannot trust it. Yeah, it, it, it looks pretty good in there. All right, so we got our cup. So we take our cup of milk, add it to the water. Man, this is looking good so far. This is going to be delicious. Rinse off the cup, and down there for the dishwasher. So now let's give this a little stir. So now that we got some liquid in here, it's time to turn it back on. So we're gonna fire it back up, and we're gonna put it on light number four. That should be good for now. So with that, start heating up. And now it's time for the noodles. Yay! Open these up. Okay, everyone. Right on in there. And guess what it's time for? More stirrings. Yay. So yeah, I just get them all, all kind of down in the soup there. All right. I think they're all drowning. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> now, special seasoning. Oh no, that's special seasoning. Yes. Um, sometimes this is kind of hard to open. It's so, so secret that it's just in a white thing. A yes. White packaging. They can't even print what it is on there. <laughs> but you look in there. <sighs> it smells so good. <laughs> Take a little smell of that. Mm, yeah. Delicious. Oh, wait, it actually kind of smells. It smells like a dessert. Yeah. Oh, it's really good. All right, so just go ahead and pour that on in. I don't know why that is. expected it to smell terrible. Oh, no. This is just a helper. It's amazing. Yeah, I want to smell like cookies. A little bit, yeah. All right. So the seasoning's in. So now this is really important. Once you get the seasoning in there, you got to stir good. You want that seasoning to get everywhere. All over everything. All your water should turn like a real white tan yeah that looks right i think we got it all right so now kind of like the rice we want to get this up to boil so we got it set on four we're going to go ahead and go up to five and almost maximus almost and we're going to put our super giant lid on yeah see ninja i, I don't know who made this yeah. pot but they actually gave you a nice rubber thing Yay. to grab the lid with. So you don't get third degree burns. Hey. All right, so that's on. So now we gotta flip back over and check the rice. 
Yeah, yeah. Can you share the design on the mitt real quick? Uh, what are we working with here? And everything gets better with coffee mitt. Oh, look. Now, see, this is definitely time for stirring. So our rice is almost done here. We're really close. So I'm probably going to leave the lid off. Because, yeah, he is very close to being done. And if you check the timer, we got about 8.30 left on the uh, fish. So all this is going to come together about at the exact same time, which is what you want. If you're trying to cook, you don't want one thing to be ready 20 minutes before everything else because it gets cold, yes. right? But then everyone's sad. Right. Because it's cold. So. <laughs> now, do you have that's the gray beads? Or... There's the beans. Yeah, that's the gray beans. You have like a crazy overpowered microwave like we do. Um, <laughs> Why is it so overpowered? I don't know. But it will actually explode your beans. <laughs> oh, no. So you have to put a little, a little thing here on top. Otherwise, your beans will be at the top of the microwave. Which is quite unfortunate. <laughs> so we're gonna let that get going. Instead of the microwave exploding, is the green is the beans that are gonna explode. Right. Yeah. Our old microwave never did that, but this one, yeah, it, it nukes them pretty good. Alright, so we're gonna peek back here now. Hey, you can see me in the microwave. Oh yeah. So we don't quite have any bully bullying action yet, so we're gonna wait a little longer. And then um, we'll cut until something happens. Uh, yeah, I think at this point, we'll catch back with you in a few minutes uh, when we have something ready. We're really close, though. See you in a couple minutes. We're back! All right, guys, so we're done. Everything is finished right on time, at the exact same time. Uh, we'll kind of show you what it looks like here in the end. So there's the rice. Looks cooked to perfection. Going to be delicious. And next, we'll move over to... The hamburger helper. Now, it is not quite done, but it's very close. Just gonna get a little stir here. Look at that. We're just gonna cook a little bit of the juice out of it a little bit more, and then it's gonna be ready. That looks amazing. Next up, our microwaved veggies. We have the green beans. Now, your customers will love this. So when you get your serving utensils out for your beans, you want something with holes in it. So I use the big fork for this. That way all your juices stay in the bowl and then get all over the customer's plates. Same thing with the corn. Spoon with holes, then you get all corn and no juice. Nice. I thought of that myself. <laughs> and no, he does not own a restaurant. And then over here we have, ta-da, the uh, baked trout slash and or salmon. Even though I think it looks exactly the same. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're very tough to tell. Yeah, but anyway, this came out perfect too. Done in 25 minutes. Got your pepper, your salt. It should be great. I'm sure they're going to love it. And um, luckily, um, nothing exploded, thankfully. No, nothing exploded. Nothing caught on fire. Dinner was a success. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm pretty sure we haven't had anything terrible happen in our series so far. So far, so good. I think yeah. we did burn a pizza one time. That was good. I don't think we did. I don't think that happened. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on another episode of Booga Dad Eats. Goodbye. Or Big Idea, Cooking Big Idea, uh, whatever the, the title is called. Right. See you next time.